Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to another sport-related video. I, I don't know what I call it, but it's pretty much just the uh, review of the first week of the AFL Finals. And it was a good week, very good week for finals, very close. Uh, I guess you say all of them were pretty close, could have gone either way. Uh, it was good, it's good. Good to see that, you know, it's just good to see footy, how it is, how it should be. Uh, but yeah, we'll start off with what my tips were for the round. So I had Geelong beating Port. I had Lions being Richmond, I had the Saints being the Dogs, and I had West Coast being Collingwood. Uh, we'll start off with Port beating Geelong. Very much, t uh, I want to say to my surprise, like Geelong should have won that easily. They had, it was nine goals, four to five goals, 12, so Geelong had way more scoring shots. Uh, they just couldn't capitalize on on their on their efficiency or scoring efficiency something like that something along those what uh lines so yeah port held on um really thought Geelong were going to do it but now they've got to do it the tough way uh so yeah that is what let's 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 look at the match report shall we nope don't want that uh let's look at our goals If this thing wants to... There we go. Um, so, Motlop was on fire. Had he had three goals. Um, I want to say Ebert. 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 Had two. Stanley had two. Dangerfield, which I think was a great goal. Running 70-odd metres. A um, few bounces and scoring goal. Charlie Dixon. I think... As much as he would have liked to be the main target and score a lot of goals, I think he's played a role very well still um he wasn't necessarily that big target because they were going to defend him um so yeah i think he still played played a good role uh let him score one uh, a lot of people score one we'll just leave that um so yeah who got the most disposals ollie wines uh, he had a good game with 24 uh so that's that geelong so i am Wait, is it? Yeah, zero to one in my tips, which is not a good start. But anyway, let's go to our second game. And we had the Lions taking on Richmond. Lions won 69 54, 10 goals, 9 to 8 goals, 6. Lions, for me, well, I'll explain in the other games, but for me, this felt like almost the game of the weekend, but that's only because I didn't watch the Collingwood West Coast game because I was in bed to sleep. Um, gotta love those early wake-up mornings. So, yeah, and I watched about half of the Saints. What did I do? So, well, Saints-Bulldogs, I watched half of it. So, yeah, and that that was still a good game. This this game was an absolute slugfest in the first half. It was pretty much going goal for goal, which was great to see. I had my nerves. As a Lions supporter, I had had my nerves gone through the roof i cannot uh stress how much i was nervous um they could have packed it up by i think three quarter time they just missed very easy kicks i think they missed three shots on goal in a row so not good not good great great to see harris andrews back um played as the game went on he was just phenomenal uh, that's pretty much it. Richmond were very undisciplined. Actually, that's probably one thing. Richmond were very, very undisciplined. Gave away four 50-meter free kicks. Uh, and just... Pretty sure... Where's the free kick counter? Uh, I was 17 to 11 in favor of Lions. But I think at one stage it was 12 to 5. So, like... It just shows how undisciplined they were um, but overall it was a great match great match to watch uh, Charlie Cameron phenomenal kick three goals Rivalt Rioli were good for the Tigers kicking two each and then there's a fair, fair few oh jeez a lot of people that kicked a goal each damn um, Dusty started off well 
but dropped off, I think, by, I want to say, five minutes into the second quarter, or maybe halfway through the second quarter. Lockie Neal had zero touch, had zero stats for the whole first quarter. And then all of a sudden, he's just blitzed away, and he almost got, I don't know, he was nowhere near. He had 19 disposals. So, yeah, just shows that Neil is not down and out, um, which is good. But that was a great game to watch. Great game. Uh, so that brings my tipping count to 1-1, one to one, which is nice. 50-50, um, 50% efficiency. Uh, next game, we had the Saints taking on the Western Bulldogs. Very close game, 67-64, to 64, 10 goals 7 to 9 goals 10. Game could have gone either way. Um, I went Saints. It was it's good to see the Saints getting a win. Um, di- didn't really watch much of this game, but yeah, was, I think from memory it was kind of like a slugfest. A lot of back and forth, end to end. I think I don't really remember. I can't really comment too much on it. Um, so yeah. Who kicked the goals? Oh, we had four Saints. Paddy Raya. R- Raya. Paddy Ryder um, played a great game, uh, according to our sources. So I can't really comment on who had a great game. Max Keane, from what I saw in the first half, was um, playing great for his first final appearance. I'm pretty sure it's his first final. Well, it's got to be. Saints haven't been in finals for like nine years. So uh, he had, took great marks. Uh, early on, which which was good to see, um, and memory, memory, and Geary were were good uh, as well. Uh, so yeah, Saints taking that one. So that brings my tips to two to one, which is good. But this match, this match here, that I didn't watch because I was too busy sleeping, would have been a cracking game to be at. I was one of the many, 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 many people that said Collingwood were not even going to win, probably weren't even going to be in the contest to win, but somehow someone up above is looking down on them, protecting them, and, well, I want to say protecting them because that's implying something, but, however, they've managed to pull the win which which is good. Good to see. Uh, not much to say. I had West Coast to win, especially at Optus Stadium in Perth. So it was, yeah, interesting to wake up to to see that Collingwood had beat West Coast. Never thought that would have happened. Uh, who, uh, who kicked some goals for him? Oh, Mason Cox actually saw in the highlights, kicked three goals within, like, I think a quarter and a half or something. However, it was in the first first half of the game. He's kicked three goals. For someone who's been out of form a couple past couple of years, it's been yeah. I would say it's good to see him kicking goals, but he also is a ruckman, which he kind of lacks that ability for being the tallest person uh, in the in the competition. Mm, excuse me. Um, Jack Darling and Kennedy, a superb for West Coast, kicking three each. That's what you want from your your main forwards, your tall forwards. So it's good to see. My check kicked three as well for Collingwood. Um, so yeah, it was. I would have liked to watch this game. This game would have been very, very hard to watch if you're a supporter for West Coast or Collingwood. Because that would have been hard to watch. Very hard to watch. So, anyway, that, that brings my tips to 2-2. Two to two. I thought... the Games could have gone either way. I'll just say that. So, yeah, anyway. Uh, that's it. That's it for the review of week one of the finals. And then we will come back probably... Oh, we'll probably see you Thursday. Wednesday whenever I decide to do the next week of finals um so anyway ta-ta
Feel uninvited Left home in West LA I'm not excited